Not that long ago, there was this festival that was supposed to take place in the Bahamas, I believe. Uh, That's how informed I am after watching two documentaries on the Firefest. The Hulu documentary, Fire Fraud, and the Netflix documentary, Fire, the Greatest Party That Never Happened. Uh, I watched the Hulu documentary first, and then I watched the Netflix documentary. Uh, Just overall... Well, let me just kind of do a brief. So there's this uh, dude, Billy McFarland, who is the kind of guy that he's like a con man who sells something before he has it and then sells this other thing to get the first thing. And then it's kind of like he's he's the tip of the pyramid scheme that is his life. And he started this business uh, with like this private membership business where you get this credit card made out of gold and it's just basically just a, a, a version of what you would carry around your normal credit card they just transfer over the magnetic strip uh, onto like this so it's you know it looks like you're rich it's all about facade it's all about you know the what you the fake it till you make it kind of the worst parts of that kind of philosophy are you know the the pillars of billy mcfarlane um so he does this credit card thing that you know kind of goes up kind of goes down anyway he he wants to do the uber of of uh like booking entertainment so he creates this fire app where you can go and in theory go and see what it would cost to book beyonce to do your birthday party or you know ja rule to do your bat mitzvah or whatever and it would you would have a quote, and of course it would be for like high end clientele. It's not like it's not like I could afford Beyonce at a birthday party, but that was the idea for the app. In a way, what they wanted to do to launch the app is to do this festival where it would be this private on this island, it, all the biggest acts. It's this beautiful paradise island, and uh, it was Billy McFarlane and Ja Rule kind of partnered up to do this thing. Now, the Hulu documentary really goes more in depth. They First off, it has the interview with Billy McFarlane, which he they paid to interview him, but I think it was worth the money they paid him. I'm sure it didn't cover his debts. Um, but they had an interview with Billy McFarlane, and it went more in depth on all of the cons that he did leaning up to the Fire Festival. Like, versus the Netflix one is produced by the Fuck Jerry people, um, so that's the basically the marketing department for the fire festival uh, who got fucked over as well in this whole thing. But they went and did their own documentary, which is the Netflix one, which is definitely more beautiful because it's all their B-roll from all their promotional shoots that they did. Um, and it really takes the position. It focuses more on the festival and it really takes the position. It's it's it's. It's a lot cleaner. It's like the more palatable, kind of just more of an entertaining documentary versus the fire fraud on Hulu is, I would say, way more in depth. Like you see it just with his interview, but you see that this is not just the fire festival as far as his con. Like the fire, the the one on Netflix kind of really makes it seem like this was his the thing that he did his one scam and then it does show him doing scams after getting busted for the fire fraud fire festival blowing up in his face but uh the first one the hulu one definitely goes more in depth on his previous stuff and is just way more especially when it gets to the fire festival where you find out that like days out He's just like barely scheduled. Like everybody that was involved that was hired to work on this fire festival, from like producers to staffing to construction to like designing and housing and all the different things, like everything was made up. Everything was like, we should do this thing. And then in a fraction of the time that they would have needed to make it come together, they would like finally outsource shit and hire people. And it was just, it was insanity. And it also showed how he was, 
how Billy McFarlane was like juggling all these things financially, like from people donating to him, like it goes into the people that were actually funding him, but also just like how many people he was screwing over like all over the place to try and it was like this house of cards that he was building and just to be like which is i mean there's there's like aspects of what he is that's like for me so like weaknesses that i have like selling myself in in a way is but he's like the far extreme right he's like so far like b- sucking on his own Kool-Aid and fucking just his ego it like he needs like five cars just to carry his ego he's so far in that that it's like pathological and it's just he he there's no concept of actually building something solid and and uh and real it's all about like the 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 fairy tale of being this huge like dealing with it's all about image and it's just like the whole culture of of what the fire festival was the people involved the the people the influencers that thought that they were actually going to see this amazing festival this super unique high-end exclusive festival like there is some sweet justice that happens in a way in this movie um in these documentaries that you see in both of them um so they're both interesting. I, I mean, if you're not a big documentary person, I would say go watch the Netflix one. It's entertaining. You do find out a lot about the Fire Festival. But if you want to get like a thorough explanation of everything and kind of see all of the shit that this guy did, then I would watch the Hulu one. Like, they're both great, though, because you get to see in both of them, you get to see a lot of similar perspectives and you get to talk to a lot of similar people. Um, but the Netflix one is, I would say more entertaining overall. Like it's a more entertaining documentary where the, the first, the Hulu one is more informative, the fire fraud. Uh, but they're both super interesting, especially because I, I've been out in the Coachella Valley now for over a year. And last April is Coachella, which is, uh, two weekends of a three day festival of music, which Beyonce headlined last year. And it's like insanity. And that one's like kind of more of the people that want to be seen going to. It's very much like the precursor to what Fire Fraud was like or Fire Festival. Like if you were going to do Coachella, but on a private island, well, what was supposed to be a private island. And uh, yeah, it was just, and it was amazing to see because on the Fire Fraud, because it wasn't produced by the Fuck Jerry people, you get to see how even they were like, how are we going to do this? But it's, it's the even from the marketing, like it's kind of brilliant how they were able to do as much as they were considering it was all just built on bullshit. Like it's just amazing how much you can actually get done. But this the dude, Billy McFarlane, just reminds me of like kind of, you know, not much similar to the guy that's in charge of the country where it's just like he's delusional and his delusion in a lot of ways has allowed him to quote unquote, be successful in a lot of people's eyes, even though Billy McFarland is, if you see his record, he's a huge failure. Same thing with the guy in charge of the country. Huge failure. It's just he's able to take a lot of a lot more swings because he's connected with people that have a lot of money, you know, so he can take it's like I can have maybe one or two swings in my life. Trump or Billy McFarland, they can swing and fuck people over constantly trying to make these crazy things happen. Um, but yeah, it's just it's it, it's an interesting exploration of an extremely disgusting. And it wasn't just him; there were other people involved that were fucking people over. But you know, it, it, as far as it's, and it was also interesting that there were two documentaries that came out around the same time that focus on the same thing. Super interesting. Go watch them: Fire Fraud on Hulu and Fire. The Greatest Party That Never Happened on Netflix. New episodes of this show come out every day. Subscribe everywhere podcasts are found. Binge the full week over at patreon.com slash inspired disorder. Inspireddisorder.com for all of my work. At Ray Taylor for me on social media. Have a great day, everybody. Peace out!